as expected, I did some major damage. As soon as the Sephora sale went live, I placed one huge massive order the moment it went live and then placed another one and another one and I'm about to go in store and buy some more. Most of my first order is here because most of them I was able to get via the uh, one day shipping that they have, the overnight one day shipping. So they actually showed up on my doorstep the very next day. Um, there's still a bunch on their way here still because they're going to be coming via regular standard delivery. So I'm expecting several more shipments but I wanted to show you guys. Oh my gosh, this is just a part of my first massive order. Yes, you guys know I'm nuts. You know I always go crazy during this Sephora VIP sale. So anyway, I have an epic haul for you. Hi my lovely people. Welcome back to another fabulous beauty video. As I said, I have a humongous Sephora haul for you. The Sephora sale, the spring savings event just went live on Friday. So this is just part one, part one of possibly three part Sephora haul, hopefully just two part. I'll probably do part two on Thursday next week, if not Tuesday, but most likely Thursday, definitely before the sale is over so you guys can add items to your card, you know, if you, if items that I bought intrigue you. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump in. Actually, right before that, go down to the description box. There's a link down there for Sephora Squad testimonials. Please leave me a testimonial for Sephora Squad so that I can be a part of the Sephora Squad. So if you leave me a testimonial, I'll have a better chance of being selected for the Sephora squad so don't forget that and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel that black button down there and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I think I'm going to share the perfumes first and then we will move on to the other items because I know a lot of you are just dying to find out more about the perfumes. So you guys this is what I'm most excited about. This is Killian can't stop loving you. This is a new release and I have been dying, dying to add this to my collection. I've actually already sniffed this at Sephora so I know how it smells but this is sort of like a first impression in a way. So let me show you typical Killian packaging. There it is. Let me take it out. All right so Typical Killian bottle, no introduction needed there. Mm, let me go ahead and spray this, okay? Ooh. You guys, I really, really love this one. Oh, you guys. First of all, this fragrance is a honeyed orange flower, orange blossom kind of fragrance, like honeyed orange flower, neroli kind of fragrance. But this reminds me of a few other Killian favorites. Kind of, it's like, if those fragrances had a baby, this is, that's what this smells like. So this smells like a mix of, you know, Killian Love Don't Be Shy, uh, Killian, Good Girl Gone Bad, and Forbidden Games kind of mixed together, you know, because Forbidden Games because of the honey. Forbidden Games has honey, so that I'm smelling. Love Don't Be Shy, you know, that, that sweet orange blossom scent that you get from that fragrance is in here. And then I feel like it doesn't list in the composition, but it almost smells like there's osmanthus because osmanthus is a floral note that has a bit of a honey kind of nuance to it, like that apricot vibes, you know? That may be why, but I'm getting a little bit of that, you know, the good girl gone bad kind of 
DNA in here and then I get a little bit of that Forbidden Games like the honey aspect of it so it's kind of like a mix of all those together but I tell you this stands on its own it's absolutely oh so gorgeous you guys this has orange flower the orange blossom there's definitely I feel like there's neroli in here even though it's not revealed in the composition there are, uh, might be other white florals you know maybe like jasmine but I feel like maybe there's a little bit of osmanthus in here maybe or it's just the honey that I'm kind of smelling with the white florals and I'm thinking it's giving me those like osmanthus kind of vibes so happy that I snatched this during the Sephora VIB sale you guys know that Killian fragrances can be quite expensive and then I also got my hands on the new black opium the YSL black opium parfum this is the the most concentrated version you know uh, of the flankers you know that this black opium the original so popular you know even to this day you know though it's very very old I hear that this is the best flanker to the black opium I've been hearing it a lot so I'm very excited I have a lot of the flankers too I have the the entons I have like the neon version I have the green one that came out I have a basically all of it I got the big size size took a chance and got the big size because I already know I'm going to like this even though I haven't smelled it yet this is my first time that I'll be smelling this, so I, I want to be able to spray this for you guys because that's all right. I'm just going to go ahead and spray it, okay? It's good. That and that. These are both blowing my mind, you guys. Oh my God goodness this one is so creamy that's the first thing i want to say there's something very almost edible like oh, i just want to eat it like my mouth is watering there's something very creamy and delicious in here like some sort of creamy gourmet notes i almost want to say that this actually smells like a load of vanilla in the base but it's not that simple i i get it I get some sort of lactonic, almost creamy note. I want to say that almost smells like a very expensive a white chocolate. You know, um, I don't know. This is what it smells like to me. I, I kind of want to eat my arm right now. Did anyone tell you guys that? That, that this almost makes you want to bite your arm off? Uh, I, I don't think I ever heard anybody say that. There's something very edible and gourmet and delicious about this but in a very perfume kind of way you know it doesn't literally smell like food it just it's so good how do i do justice to this fragrance i'm so glad i got the big bottle you guys i'm going to do like a full review of this in an upcoming video one of my uh hot new releases series the next episode I will be reviewing the new releases here that I just briefly talked about, but I'll do a field review in that upcoming video. Hey guys, yeah, I have one more fragrance here. I almost forgot this one. I got Glossier You finally. What a simplistic bottle, isn't it? Like has a little thumb hole there to put the thumb into. But anyway, that's a, a cute kind of fact packaging. So this I know is a very musky type fragrance. So I'm very curious to, to smell this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this over here on my, my arm here. So let me spray it. This is very, I'm very, very excited. I know that this is supposed to be like almost skin musk kind of fragrance. Let me try it. Ooh. Ooh, yes, just what I thought. It's exactly what I thought. This actually reminds me, believe it or not, a little bit of the skin masks that are in the new Room 1015 Sonic Flower. This is actually very musky, like that 
naturally musky I, my skin smells naturally sexy and musky kind of fragrance definitely like very this is not your I'm there in a perfume and I smell like a perfume kind of fragrance this is gonna make you smell very like naturally good smelling kind of thing you know because that's what musks do they they're supposed to like kind of mimic like the sexy skin vibes yeah you guys it, it really reminds me a little bit of the new room 1015 sonic flower without the carrot seed note which makes that fragrance super intriguing so this has like that powdery vibes that I um, sonic flower has too because this has a little bit of iris a very musky 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 sexy skin kind of fragrance um, yeah I like it I like it okay you guys this is something that I am dying 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 to see um, smell and get on my skin this is this new Sol de Janeiro Rio Radiance cream oh my god it's a new body cream by Sole Sol de Janeiro it's, do you see that this is like obviously made for summer this is going to have I'm going to assume like solar notes citrus kind of stuff like let me see let me see let me see let me see oh it's all yellow inside too oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh yeah you guys it's totally 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 well the same kind of you can tell you can you know they are same delicious like beautiful formula you know of their body butters but oh my gosh this mmm this smells yeah, definitely solar notes in here, but there's a little bit of a suntan vibe too, and there's something yummy and edible in it too. Can't quite put my finger on it. What does it say on the box? Does it say anything? It says body glow with hydrating squalene. Okay, so this has squalene in it to hydrate the skin. Squalene is a really good ingredient, and yeah, it's supposed to be glowy give you a glow to your skin hydrate the skin and nourish so yeah oh my gosh mm, this is gonna go there's definitely something very solar about this this is gonna pair amazing with any of your solar fragrances with like solar white florals and all that you know i'm trying to think oh the christian louboutins um gosh what is the name of that fragrance the summer one uh, Christian Louboutin released. I'll put it up here. That comes to mind right away. Anything that has any like salty notes, like I think this is gonna work really well with. Like any of your like suntan smelling kind of vibe. I actually got two of them. So yeah, here I have two of them. And I got the spray right here. This is the same uh, scent, the Rio Radiance spray. Let me spray this one on. Okay, let me spray it on the back of my hand here where I put the... It smells just like the the body cream basically. It, it's not as delicious smelling like the Boom 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 cream or the Bomb Dia Bright one, but it is definitely very summery. I'm talking about the, the cream now, um, this scent in general, but it's definitely very summery, very like solar kind of vibes. Oh yeah, this will go with any kind of white floral, yellow floral fragrance or solar fragrance that you have in your collection. And then I wanted to show you that I got a biggie, biggie size of the Beja Floor Elastic Cream. This is that, that Sol de Janeiro cream that smells almost exactly like, very similar to the Baccarat Rouge 540 fragrance. And it's actually, yeah, it goes with the extract and the original both. So this is the biggie biggie size, like the, the big daddy size basically. So I don't have to tell you guys what this is. I already talked about this in my recommendations video. Ah, oh, this smells very similar to Baccarat Rouge 540. Really complements it if you want a layering combination. There you have it. Um, I actually have this, the body splash of the same beige of Florence upstairs. I put that in my recommendations video. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that I got the biggie biggie size. And I got here the Boom Boom Body Fermeza Oil. It's a body oil that has the same Boom Boom scent. Okay, so it came with the... 
little pump on the side. So yeah, the, this is the oils. Not even sure I need to open this, but uh, let me put this in here. So yeah, it's a it's a body oil, you guys. Yeah, it's really, really very oh that boom boom gorgeous delicious boom boom scent does this have spf by any chance no i don't think so this is just a boom boom body uh firming oil i think it, i think it firms if i'm not mistaken read too much about it but if i'm not mistaken this is supposed to be firming but uh, the same boom boom scent absolutely beautiful now i'm gonna go wash my hands because i have too many different scents on my hands. I'll be right back. So now I have some hair products that I bought. I ordered this uh, Bondi Boost Thickening Therapy Hair Mask. You guys, this brand had like rave reviews on Sephora.com and I've been curious about this brand for a long time now. I just kept adding it, in my, it to, into my cart and taking it out and I just never pulled the trigger so I decided to order them this time around. This mask is supposed to be really good. Apparently thickens, like make your hair thicker and all that and I really want to try this out. But yeah, I also ordered the shampoo and the regular conditioner of this brand too. They haven't arrived yet so I am really curious to find out about that. And then I bought more of this. Um, I took it out of the packaging actually because I used it already. I ran out of this mask and when the order arrived, I used this. Um, I really love this mask. This is the Chris Appleton and Color Wow Money Mask. I think a lot of people know about this mask actually. It's really good. It adds, adds incredible shine to your hair. I didn't use it today, but I used it like the other day. when Whenever I use this mask, it really detangles the hair almost like right away you know like the knots kind of fall down like untangle themselves you know you don't even have to make an effort really really detangling and it adds like an incredible shine to the hair so yeah this is what it looks like it's kind of like a cool blue kind of a mask it's really really good I really really like it so I needed to replenish it restock and then I got more hair care products I already talked to you about many of my the G Brio Geo products but this time around I got the Brio Geo Be Gentle Be Kind line the banana and coconut nourishing superfood shampoo and conditioner I have the mango and cherry one upstairs and I really love them. They are so like wonderful, like again, really leave the hair feeling silky and smooth, detangles, gives hair life, I mean yada yada everything, okay? It's so gentle that I let my daughter use it, like my little baby daughter, you know? Um, usually I buy, we buy special kid, you know, uh, products for them like kid friendly products for them but it's so good I actually let her use them I wanted to try these because it's summertime and it's like banana and blah 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 you know? okay you guys I just punctured this a hole just to smell it oh smells like bananas like that artificial banana scent though very 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 nice it smells like bananas so I'm gonna assume this smells like bananas too this is the shampoo and conditioner very excited to try them. I mean, if it's anything like all of the other Brio Geo Bio products that I've tried so far, I'm gonna love it. Actually, speaking of which, I did I did buy the mango and cherry. Um, this is from the also the Superfoods line. This is the mango and cherry balancing conditioner and shampoo. So here it is, what I just mentioned. Yeah, I did. I forgot that I did replenish them too because the two that I have out there are almost gone. So yeah, and I got another new exciting product from Olaplex. This is the Olaplex number no. four D, as in dog, dry shampoo. This is like a, it says it's clean volume detox. So I'm gonna assume that it's supposed to do all those things. So it's a dry shampoo. I just showered, but I'm going to just use it to see if it shows any white cast. You know what? No, no white cast, you guys, wow almost oh 
Ooh, that smells amazing too. Did you see like there's little to no white cast? I didn't see any white cast at all. Let me spray again. No, no white cast. Huh. Wow. I am very, very curious. It feels really cooling and clean actually. Already loving this. Can't wait to really put that to the test. I love Olaplex products. You guys know how much I love them. Speaking of which, I'm not going to even open this because th there's no need to, to smell it or anything. This is Olaplex number nine. This is the intense bond building hair treatment. This, you guys, you, this is number zero. So this goes from zero to nine, this line. So this number zero is the one you spray on your dirty hair, you know, on your dry, dirty hair before you put, you saturate your hair with this prepping your hair for Olaplex number three, which is the star of the show, the bond builder that, you know, everybody loves. It really strengthens and bonds your hair, literally strengthens your hair. So anyway, this is the, the step before that, like so prep step to that, I suppose. I ran out, so I replenished. Oh, I also got a, another Olaplex hair product. Again, replenish item, my staple. Olaplex number nine, this is the Bond Protector Nourishing Hair Serum. This is a serum you put after you are done washing your hair, you condition, you towel dry, you get out, and you put take a little bit of this and you, you know, run it through your hair. It really protects. Again, it's also bonding, like just like number three, uh, in a serum kind of version, like leave-in serum. It also, you know, helps bond your hair, so strengthens your hair pretty much, you know. I like to double up on my, my, my strengthening of hair products, okay? And then I got this one right here. One of my lovely subbies recommended this one. And then I looked it up and I realized it has really good reviews. This is by K-Skin. It is the Deep Water Hydrating and Smoothing Body Cream. This is supposed to be very, very like hydrating and like smoothing like it says it's supposed to be really really good this has like some sort of sea moss and like kakadu plum or something in, in it that's supposed to be very good for your skin so let me try this actually on okay so i'm gonna put it on this hand oh it's kind of thick seems like it's a thicker thicker cream a little bit thicker oh it feels very hydrating that's always a good sign not much of a strong scent smells kind of has like a, that spa like scent oh i can tell it's really good you guys my look at the back of my hand it's really like plumping and nourishing so the k skin uh cream here is supposed to be good for loss of elasticity uh it's supposed to nourish the the body um help you Give you more supple skin uh, if you have like issues with elasticity and shrivel up and you know, all like uh, get wrinkled or whatever i think it's supposed to be really good for that i'm loving how nourished my skin feels after putting it on but i need to still put it to the test and tell you more about it i think these products like the ones that i really love from this sephora haul or hauls because i'm going to do like part one two and three probably i'm going to do favorites videos out of the products that i bought you know the ones i really love so stay tuned you'll be getting updates on these products okay so i also got my favorite i restocked on my kiehl's soy milk and honey whipped body butter i'm not gonna stay here very long you guys I put this, it, I'm not going to open it, I put this in my uh, recommendations video, Sephora recommendations video, check it out, I'll link it up here and down in the description box. This is like a very beautiful whipped body butter that when you put it on, it feels like a bucket of water went on your skin and it's so hydrating. It even makes your feet feel uh, nice and almost wet, like so hydrated the next morning after you go to bed wearing this body cream absolutely beautiful i love it and i love to layer it with my honey fragrances and it 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 has a very mild scent so it actually won't be a problem layered with any other fragrance either so you guys i t told you that i don't really buy skincare products from sephora anymore because i usually stick with what my dermatologist recommends me but I did find this product in, intriguing when I saw it, the reviews for it. It is by Shani Darden. It's a 
triple acid signature peel it's supposed to resurface brighten and refine i love resurfacing kind of at home masks you know you guys know that i love the kate somerville is that oh yeah it came actually so i did buy it too you guys know that i love the kate Somer uh, somerville exfoliate mask this one i'll tell you about here in a second so it's kind of like the similar concept um, so it's an acid, it's a triple acid peel. So it has like three different types of acids. So yeah, I'm going to assume like three different kind of acids. So I'm very, very, um, curious to find out more about this. So it comes with a brush here to apply the product. It seems. Okay. So these, I guess, are the peel, the solution. So they come, I think there are about 10 of those in here. I'm gonna say so yeah so I'm gonna assume there are eight treatments in here and then you basically like paint it on and then put this on it's the neutralizing mask so so this is for maybe neutralizing the acid afterwards I'm gonna assume uh, let me update you in a, um, a different video about how I liked it and then of course like I said I got the Kate Somerville exfoliate mask this one you guys is amazing this you only have to leave on five minutes don't leave any longer because it's actually quite strong it's not even like super chemically type of chemical peel or anything it's actually a very like natural ingredients but it really does an amazing job actually this exfoliates me better than some of the chemical peels i've had this is really very effective it really leaves my skin feeling smooth i just used that the other day okay getting into more of the skincare so this one is innis innis free the brand innis free this is a volcanic pore cleansing clay mask. I love clay masks. I like to buy clay masks for when I take baths because that's my favorite kind of mask to wear while I take a bath because I usually always put on a, some kind of mask on my face when I'm taking a bath. So this is the, the little uh, jar. This is supposed to be like volcanic mud, okay? Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. That looks super interesting. This was not very expensive. This was like very reasonably priced. It had good reviews. I'll let you know how it works on me. This is Paula's Choice. I got this because again, it intrigued me. This is Paula's Choice. Love Paula's Choice products. Pro Collagen Multi Peptide Booster. And I always love peptide, anything, any, any cream with peptide in it because it really helps with your collagen and everything. So yeah, so it's like a, a little dropper, you know, you, you, you take this off and you put the put this in it and it's like a peptide booster you know it's really good you can add this to your like i was thinking i could add this to my moisturizer you know and incorporate it to my skincare routine that way or i can put it you know instead of my hyaluronic acid some days and use my hyaluronic acid other days something like that i'm going to incorporate it in some way to my my regimen and i'll let you guys know how i like it then i got i guess this is kind of a skincare product too this is the skin fix two percent bha cleanser um it says acne plus so that's actually what got my attention this is supposed to be like a a BHA acid cleanser it helps clear acne so I every now and then I get you know during that time of the month a little bit of like one pimple or so um, one breakout for that time of the month I got this um, this has got several acids in it so I'm excited to try it had good reviews on Sephora these are two sunscreens I actually bought more sunscreens I think they're still on the way uh, it'll be they'll be in the next haul video the part two so this is super goop every single face watery lotion sunscreen this is SPF 50 which I like 50 is my favorite number for uh, sunscreens because they say that's like the highest you can go and and have the sunscreen still be more effective after 50 it's the same they say so anyway, I love the cute little round shape. This is very watery, okay? So it's very, very liquidy. You can wear this, so see how it disappears right into your skin? Voila, you know, it's almost like 
you're not wearing anything this is great for underneath makeup so very like almost not there kind of sunscreen that's really amazing to wear almost as a primer underneath makeup which is amazing which is what you want I don't like thicker even if it was like tinted sunscreen I don't want something too visible for underneath my makeup so that's what I got this for so I think that's really going to work for me so I have another sunscreen from Supergoop this is Supergoop glow stick also SPF 50 this one I got actually for putting over my makeup I actually also ordered the um, Shiseido one that's just like this same concept I wanted to try this one as well and see I love the super good pop one already um, because it's really amazing now do you see how this is totally clear you see like it's a clear stick okay I will show you right there so it's a clear stick so I got this because I wanted something that won't disturb my makeup that I can sort of apply reapply on top of my makeup let's say that I put a little bit of makeup on out there doing something active during the day running around uh, or I'm on my vacation I'm wearing my makeup but I'm out in the hot sun I want to bring something like this or the Shiseido one so I can just like refresh my sunscreen on top of my makeup without it ruining my makeup and I heard this is great for that so that's why I bought this I think now we're on to makeup products that's what's left um, again remember you guys I have two more hauls um, keep in mind okay I wanted to share with you a couple of Sephora brushes that I bought this is Sephora brush number 99 this is supposed to be this is a blush brush so during the sale Sephora products Sephora brand products are 30% off which is a really great deal and I really do like their um, brushes they really do work really well um, so I decided to get this blush brush because it looked really nice um, so yeah this is for blush it's a little bit pinched has like a like a shape like that and it's supposed to be really great for blush and here is a travel size Sephora um, foundation brush which I always appreciate because I like smaller brushes for when I'm traveling um, going on vacation or traveling for work or whatever have you so yeah anyway this is a foundation brush I have the the big version of this like the regular version of this this is like the travel version of it so it's really really good for applying foundation this also works as a cream contour brush too works really well with cream contour too and then I got my usual Pat McGrath concealer again restock item I talked about this in my recommendations video one of the best concealers out there this is very thin uh, sits like a second skin doesn't crease but really very full coverage perfect 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 concealer I also like the Dior backstage concealer I also talked to you guys about that one I'm thinking about buying the Givenchy one still I'll let you know okay you'll see in the the next two parts if you don't see it here oh you guys I have to tell you guys I'm very happy with this one it's actually what's on my face today this is the new Charlotte Tilbury matte beauty blush one you have to get these okay this is the pillow talk dream pop so let me show you so I already used this as you can see that's what's on my face today you only need like the tiniest little bit but I, I I just squeezed it over squeezed it here and and, and ruined it uh, a little bit uh, but you just really only need you know what I'm gonna use go ahead and use that foundation brush just to blend this out um, I don't have my brushes down here right now so this really is so gorgeous you guys um, this would again this brush would work as a cream blush blender too so yeah this is really 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 beautiful this color this shade very much a fan of this shade absolutely lovely let me blend the other side too really quickly you know it's very pigmented but it still doesn't look like 
crazy or anything I didn't even have time to properly blend it out because I had my face already buffed and but if you buff your face with a powder this would like look even more blended into the skin do you see how beautiful that is that's like a very like beautiful flush of color almost looks like you got a, a natural like your cheeks are you know hot from the sun that's kind of what they what it looks like this particular shade i think the other shades are not as bright and uh, yummy as this one so yeah highly recommend oh you guys i got the uh grande cosmetics grande brow two-in-one brow setter so this is supposed to help grow your brow hairs so my brows you guys when i moved here 20 some years ago i had the most thick luscious brows and they used to really thread my brows really nicely they were like this so beautiful but when i moved here they over threaded my eyebrows and thinned my eyebrows out and i'm so mad and i'm trying to grow my eyebrows back i actually haven't threaded my eyebrows in forever and i just pluck it now you know just the extra hairs down here if there are any um i don't really do any maintenance on my brows that much anymore because i'm trying to grow it out now this grande brow um serum or the brow setter from what i heard it's like two in one perfect because this is apparently a great brow setter but also you're helping your brows you know grow and be thicker and full i am having a hard time getting it to open but anyway it's a it's a brow setter okay um apparently it works really really well i'm very excited to see if it actually works you know after using for a long time so then i got this uh, new urban decay uh 24 7 inks i don't know something eyeliner i mean look at how interesting this looks so it's a liquid liner it really intrigued me like you can actually hold it's a nice grip so the um the tip the it's a brush tip you guys know how i love a good brush tip and it looks like the kind of brush tip i would really like and would really work well again i can't tell you what anything about this yet until i use it but i heard good things about it and then i actually this is a replenish item a restock item this is the kosas brow pencil this one's really good i really like this one too this also has that nice pinched thin um tip you know that makes really fine hairline strokes i really like the kosas one the other side side is of course is a spoolie here's another restock item precisely my brow pencil i don't need to tell you guys anything about this you already know i rave about it all the time this is actually my favorite brow pencil this is by benefit again that nice thin you know tip that i like you know is there and it's firm enough that it doesn't break, soft enough that it doesn't hurt your skin. It actually goes on real nice. And then I got this one here. This is the Tower 28 Mascara. Um, this one, you guys, I've been hearing so much about this. So I, you know, really had to check it out. That's the mascara I'm wearing on my eyes today. So it has this very interesting sort of curved wand. Yeah, I like the curved shape. But I gotta tell you, this is a good mascara. As you can tell, it is good. It really separates and lengthens. It doesn't really volumize. But I gotta tell you, I really still prefer the Pat McGrath mascara and the Legendary Lashes too. I think by Charlotte Tilbury more than that one. But that's a really good one too. That's a good mascara, I gotta tell you. If you like to separate your lashes and lengthen, but don't care much about volume that's a good mascara and then i got this one the benefit benny tint this is the the little um the blush tint tint okay like so it's a it's a tint that that works like a blush so like this so you kind of put a, so you kind of put a dot um on here and you just blend it into the skin to give your um skin like a a nice flush um so yeah you see how you know it looks kind of intimidating in here but it actually goes on quite sheer um i can barely notice that but what it does is is that it gives you like this sun-kissed kind of look it, it actually gives you a very realistic sun out been out in the sun all day look okay 
so I've been meaning to buy it for a while now as you can tell you know it gives you like almost like a very realistic natural been out in the sun too long kind of redness to like that flush to the skin so I really wanted to check this out that's not a new product it's been around forever and you guys another restock product Charlotte Tilbury color corrector that I swear by this I go through these like crazy I get them in number two they come in four shades this is the peachy one it's a great color corrector if you have like if you don't get as many hours of sleep as you should like me and you get dark circles under your eyes this is the product for you works so well it's very thin very full coverage it really gets rid of any kind of darkness under the eyes and then I what I do is I put that on I put my foundation on or I put my foundation on then put that on and then I go in with my concealer so so yeah that's what I do and I wanted to try a new color corrector by Ola Hendrickson this is the banana bright vitamin C stick they call it I believe there's vitamin C in here and if I'm not mistaken some caffeine too so this is a color corrector actually it's a stick color corrector stick uh, I apparently smushed it somehow but anyway um, so it's supposed to it's it's supposed to color correct it's kind of like a creamy almost concealer type consistency again this comes in I don't know why it looks too yellow on the uh, screen this is actually more orangey than it looks but anyway this is like an orangey almost peachy color corrector stick apparently it's really good so I wanted to give it a try it comes in four different shades I believe there's like two dark two more darker shades and one lighter shade than that um, looks promising you know really looks promising then I got these two face products you guys this is the Too Faced Cloud Crush blush it says 93% natural origin natural ingredients I guess oh I got this mainly for the packaging you guys and I know that the blush is pretty good too look at how cute this is oh my god this is so adorable and it has that sort of vintage cuteness that like the Gucci packaging has almost I really wanted to get it for that reason okay so this is what it's kind of like a baby doll pink and I usually shy away from colors like this because these type of colors are better on fairer skin but I heard that this works on you know darker skin tones too I'm very excited to try this this is such a pretty pretty color there it is let me try and put it here a little bit I don't know if you guys can tell yeah it's like it's gonna give her like a nice like baby doll flush it comes in other colors but I got this in particular because it's very unique but I might grab another color if I find this blush to be really good I also got another blush by house lab uh, the lady gaga's brand I heard her blushes are really good so I had to have it okay so this is what it looks like I got this color because it was kind of like unique to me comes in all these beautiful colors but anyway let me uh, kind of um, swatch it a little bit for you again none of this is going to do justice on the back of my hand you know it's gonna really be better on the skin I heard so many good about good things about this uh, blush yeah, I think it's talc free yeah it says talc free I'm pretty sure so it's it's called the color fuse blush uh, this is in the shade hibiscus haze this is supposed to be talc free I'm pretty sure I mean it really is um, really I can feel how it's very smooth very silky and I can tell that I'm going to like it this, this camera is not showing the true color of this blush but anyway yeah I was gonna get this other more warmer like almost reddish color but I thought this was a little bit more interesting because I have those warm reddish almost colors because I love those so the last item have I have is this one right here this is the Sephora collection body brush for applying like shimmers or body oils body gels shimmer gels so it's kind of like a, a brush like that so it's supposed to you know help you like put like body products on but anyway you guys so that's it that's my massive 
Sephora haul, just part one. There are probably gonna be two more parts, part two and part three. I'm gonna try to make it just part two. We'll see, it depends on when I get the other stuff in the mail here very soon. So the other stuff, they're kind of standard order, there, so they're gonna come a little bit slower. Um, these were like the overnight delivery stuff, but anyway, stay tuned for part two. It'll be most likely, hopefully, posted on Thursday. Unless I get them super late, then it would be Sunday. I hope not. But anyway, I hope to get them, that video up before the sale ends. I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. Let me know your thoughts about these products down in the comment section. What did you buy? I want to know what you bought, you guys, before the sale ends. Because there might be something I missed. Like I need any more things. But anyway, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. I can't wait to hear from you guys. If you haven't left me a testimonial for Sephora Squad, please do so. I'll leave that link down in the description box. It would really help me out. I very much appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. Share this video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I will see you guys in my next video.